sometimes when you're declaring your strings, you need to declare them in multiple lines. So I might say that I have a message here and this message would be, hello, and I'd put a new line here, my name, my name is Don Felker, how are you? Then I'd print this to the screen. And then once this ran, we'd see a nice little message here. How, hello, my name's Don Felker, how are you? However, sometimes this gets kind of ugly and there is actually a better way to do this in Kotlin. And you can actually use the triple quotes here and you say, hello, my name is Don Felker, how are you? And then I'm just gonna run this again. And I'm using the shortcut key to run it, which if you see here is actually just going to be uh, control shift R on a Mac. And you'll notice the same thing came out here. Hello, my name is Don Felker. But what is this trim indent thing? What is going on here? This is basically a raw string triple quoted. And then we have the trim indent function, which basically if we look at it, it does it detects the minimal indentation of the input lines and removes it from every line. So if I remove this line, what you're going to see down here is this is actually going to be indented. It's actually going to have a new line and then it's going to be indented. So let's watch this. We'll run this again. And you can see there's a line above and it's all been indented. So if I put the trim indent back, what it basically is doing is it's removing all of this and the new line that's up here. I rerun it and it shoves it back in there. Now I can also do something called replace indent. Like for example, if I know that maybe I'm building some string and I'm kind of building this stuff up manually, I can replace that indent with uh, something that looks like uh, ABC, you know, and some maybe a pipe symbol or whatever like that. And now if I run this, it'll replace that indent, which was all those things with these on each line. So ABC hyphen pipe hyphen, which is kind of cool. So if I'm building something, I can actually kind of provide these pre-formatted things there. I can also say my trim margin and I can provide a prefix. So maybe I've decided that uh, I already know that I just want that prefix to be these three arrows. So I'll run that and it will run and it says, all right, well, I didn't, I didn't trim anything because I didn't find these three arrows. So what this means is these three arrows would need to be right here. Let's say for whatever reason that string had these three arrows, right? I'll run that and there we go. Now it's not gonna print those. If I remove this, we'll actually see it print with those three arrows and this, this area here. Now by default, trim margin has defaults itself to pipes, which means I could set this to a pipe. I could run that. And there we go, it's just gonna replace those pipes. By default, it checks for pipes. So you can do a nice, string here, multi-line string with triple quotes. Another thing you can do is let's assume that you have a name and we'll just call it Don. And sometimes you want to print a message like we have here. Let's print this message, Don. Let's say we want to say hello to Don. We'll say hello. Traditionally, in most languages, you just do string concatenation, which works fine. We hit enter and it says, hello, Don. That works fine. Now notice something. There's a little squiggly here. It says convert concatenation to template. So you can actually use string interpolation into templates. So I hit Alt, Enter there, and it gave me this pop-up and I hit Enter again, and it automatically converted this code for me. And this does the same exact thing. And now what this does is it actually prints Hello Dawn. So it's actually one big string. And then we could actually have one here to say age, and we'll just say 32. And then we'd say Hello da, Hello da, Hello Name. Your age is, and we put this thing in here, so age. And it would print the age inside of here. And now one other thing that we can also do that's cool inside of these, these things is say something like this. So hello, name, your age is, and your, your name is, we would say dollar sign. And we put open curly braces because now I need to call a property or a method. And I'd say name dot, so name dot length. And so what this says is, it would say, hello, Don, your age is 32, and your name is, what would be four characters long. So let's run that. So hello, Don, your age is 32, and your name is four characters long. So now, instead of using a very complicated uh, replacement or anything else like that, I can use string interpolation, 
and interpolate these variables. If you're not going to be calling into the object graph at all, so you're not doing this dot anything, then you can just call dollar sign variable name. Otherwise you'll need to do dollar sign open curly bracket. Put your code and your expression inside of here and close curly bracket and that's it.